The following video is a summary of PEOC 4 i CVN78 Component Shock Test Program. 17 barge events, 2 deck simulating shock machine tests, and 2 lightweight shock machine tests have been conducted to date. 364 components have been tested or will be extended based on the results of these tests. Heavyweight shock testing is conducted on a deck simulating fixture mounted on a barge while high blast explosives are set off at a depth of 20 feet and with standoff distances of between 40 feet and 20 feet. Blow schedules are determined by the installation requirements of the equipment to be qualified. Video equipment is grade B, which means it cannot pose a risk to personnel or grade A equipment. The following tests show a subset of video wall equipment to be installed in TFCC and CESS. This test shows the video wall in TFCC plus the Class 2 shock isolated rack on the right side. First testing at 25 Hz with the CMP ER01 rack. The higher energy associated with testing at 25 Hz soon became apparent to us all with the third shot of the sequence, a 20 foot kill shot. In this test, the helicoils used to attach the rack to the foundation failed. The rack separated from its foundation and became an extreme hazard to personnel and equipment. All helicoil mounted installations are planned to be replaced on CVN78. Barge Event 6 includes the time and frequency rack which contains the cesium and rubidium frequency standards and time distribution unit. The cesium standard, one of the most expensive components to be tested, registered a clean bill of health following the test series. The following video shows the rack under test in real time. Barge Event 7 included the passive link tap shown in its custom mount in the top left corner. The failure of this component is attributed to the age of the RTV sealant on internal components. Barge Event 10 included Vacuum Crypto, the ADNS Philly, and a retest of the Y band distribution amplifier, which failed in Barge Event 6. Also included in Barge Event 10 is the AC2 modem, which will be installed in RCS racks and provided by the NMT program. The AC2 modem is also planned to be installed in CBSP and is shown tested in the following DSSM test. Barge Event 14 included the DMR tested in a GAN configuration with a stiffened rack at 25 Hz. The internal DMR card cage failed during this event. Due to the newness of the DSF and the high output of the HBX1A used during the test, this test is considered one of the most extreme seen so far. Barge Event 15 included the ATG with a 35-foot whip HF antenna installed. For this test, the barge was modified with a pontoon to lessen the roll effect of the barge during the blast event. For this test, the antenna is vertical, which would be normal HF operations. For the following test, the ATG will be in the horizontal position, which is normal for flight operations. The action of the 10 Hz DSF can clearly be seen during this test. The natural frequency of the 35 whip antenna was determined to be 1.1 Hz, which is well away from the 10 Hz frequency of the DSF. <laughs> 